St. Vincent and the Grenadines welcomes the summoning and hosting by President Biden of this multinational summit for democracy. We support unequivocally the twin goals of the summit, first to galvanize commitments and initiatives across the principal themes of strengthening democracy and defending against authoritarianism, fighting corruption, and promoting respect for human rights. And secondly, to engage, listen, and speak honestly about the challenges facing democracy globally and within each participating country. We acknowledge that there is no perfect democracy. Thus, it is always in human civilization a work in progress. But on this subject, Abraham Lincoln got it right. And in simple language, government of the people, by the people, and for the people. The founding fathers of our country's constitution in 1979 enjoined our people to affirm that our nation is founded on the belief in the supremacy of God and the freedom and dignity of man and woman, to desire that our society be so ordered as to express our recognition of the principles of democracy, free institutions, social justice, and equality before the law, to realize that the maintenance of human dignity presupposes the safeguarding of the right of privacy, of family life, of property, and the fostering of the just economic rewards for labor, and to desire that our constitution enshrines these proclaimed freedoms, principles, and ideals. We live by these precepts, even though as human beings, in building an alive constitutionalism, institutions and practices, we sometimes fall short, though never irretrievably so. The contemporary challenges to democracy in our Caribbean include poverty and material privation, the threats of recolonization and hegemonic domination, the misuse and abuse of global information technologies, the weaknesses of certain critical democratic institutions of governance, the corrosive dangers of corruption, the rise of transnational and internal criminality, including violence against women, and in several countries in our hemisphere and elsewhere, the challenge of ethnic or racial discrimination. The correctives to these challenges suggest themselves. The question is this, do we have the political will to address them efficaciously? In tackling most of these challenges, practical multilateral partnerships are required. I'm hopeful that this summit will assist markedly. Thank you.